Hello everyone, this is Darcenovia, back with another review. This time, it's a review of the episode one, One Shots. Oh. If you're wondering what these are, they're essentially a, col a collection of comic one shots that, that focus on specific events in episode one, and does have a story in between certain scenes. Honestly, Matt Wilkins touched on this way before I have, but considering that I, now that I'm focusing primarily on the prequel era instead of post-Return of the Jedi, I could finally give my own two cents on it. As for if you are just mildly curious about these stories, they're very easy to find. You could find them in the um, Volume 2 of... of Marvel's, you know, Rise of the Sith omnibuses, all and the Dark Horse omnibus, emissaries and assassins. It's not a very, it's not a very difficult story. Stories to find. They're just short stories that take place st certain during certain events of Episode One. The art varies from issue to issue. Anakin's art is is weak. Um, he looks like the character from episode one, but it looks off. But it's it, but it looks like the character from the movie. It's just an unnecessary short story. Padme is. Oh God, this art is terrible. It's one of the few stories in the expanded universe that. That focuses on Padme, but it's like this is this is it. It's just her and Jar Jar Binks going on a short adventure during the events before the pod race in Episode One. It's like seriously, the story was trash, and if you don't like Jar Jar Binks, you're gonna hate this story. Now, the the only one that I think is I think enjoyable is the Qui Gon one shot. It takes place right after Anakin wins the race. And in this sto story, Wardo tries to back out of the bet by the huts. Now, why do I say this is the best one? Considering the fact that it was the most original story, Qui-Gon Jinn, there's barely any stories featuring him. And I, I, I didn't think it was a bad story. The art was the best, too. At least in my opinion, I thought the art was the best. Honestly, I, 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 I did feel like this one was okay. I wouldn't buy a fucking omnibus for this st one story. I don't think it's a bad one. Now, the Obi-Wan one is the absolute worst. In fact, I skimmed through all of it because most of it is just a recap of, of episode one through Obi-Wan's perspective, and the art is fucking awful. There's no original material, honestly, in Obi Wan's story. Unlike Qui Gon's and and Anakin's, there, there's no original content. Yes, Padme does have some has original content too, but hers is garbaged. Out of all of these, the only one that I would that I would probably recommend if you want to read a one shot of these is. Qui-Gon Jinn's, considering I thought it was good, but the rest were... To be honest, this entire thing was garbage. It was... This was definitely milking at the, um, the Phantom Menace to its... They were milking that cow for all it was worth. It's like EU writers. There's so much things they could have done with the, with the expanded universe at this point. I mean, Jade Watson was writing adventures with a young Obi-Wan and, and Qui-Gon Jinn. John Ostrander and along with those other writers were writing stuff about the Jedi Council members, but instead, but they decided let's write a, a more stories that takes place during Episode One. It's just it, it it's a complete cash grab, honestly. It, it's not worth anyone's time, and it's not worth going to the effort to tracking these down. In fact, 
if you are curious about them, don't buy them a collection just for them. Just buy the Rise of the Sith Volume 2 Epic Collection from Marvel because those are included in there and it has other good material in there too, like the Darth Maul you know, comic and, and a few others. Don't waste your money on this garbage. To me, I do rank, despite me enjoying one of the stories, the episode one one shots in general were fucking garbage. Avoid them like the plague. I give I I give it trash rating. Avoid them. They're not worth your time. You don't lose anything if you don't read them. It's just someone just wanting to pump out more episode one material. Anyway, people, this is Darsonovia. May the force be with you. And we're getting close to that 100th episode. And if you're wondering why you're seeing me in the same shirt in all these reviews, it's because, well, I'm recording these in rapid succession every time I finish my reviews. That's why. Anyway, have a good day, everyone.